damn near might be an emotional video. <laughs> what, what a crazy year. Um, obviously more beyond shoes, man. We lost Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and all those people in the crash, unfortunately. It, it, it seems like it was so long ago. This is just such a strange year. But we have a special sneaker coming back. We haven't seen it since 2010. Uh, Kobe wore it against the Miami Heat when the Lakers hosted them uh, back 2010, Christmas. The Grinch, man, uh, here they are. These were supposed to release 2021. It, it seemed like information was so inconsistent, but now it's confirmed they're gonna release this month, December on the 24th, retail is going to be $180. And unfortunately, a lot of us as Kobe fans are not going to be able to get these. Now, you guys know I have every, just about every Kobe there is to have. And really, this entire year, the only Kobe that I was able to grab for retail, like it's been so hard to get Kobe's this year. Insane. Makes sense. Unfortunately, people are like, you know, gouging you with prices because of his death and it's it's a real just it's a messed up thing but i mean that's the way the game goes unfortunately and for me i'm hoping that i can call in a bunch of favors i paid a lot of money to get these i ain't gonna hold y'all as soon as i got them just because i wanted to see them i don't have the original pair so these have been sitting at a thousand dollars easily for the original pair and even to buy for resale i'm not necessarily sure how much they're going for now but when i checked on stock x last sale was like eleven hundred dollars and that was just a couple days ago so really expensive shoe to get i ended up getting these in a 13 and i'm actually a 12 so i have to get rid of these to get myself a size 12 which is cool no problem i just wanted to bring this review to you guys look how dope these are man and personally it almost seems like they're a lot more green, not necessarily up here, but on the bottom sole. This seems a lot more green than the original pair. If anybody has the original pair, you can let me know down below in the comments because I know a lot of pairs have obviously yellowed and all that nonsense. But I mean, even looking at like a translucent sole, I've worn these a lot. These are the Kobe 8 What Does, uh, another huge prized possession of mine that I'm so glad to have gotten. But I mean, the soul didn't yellow in all these years and I've hooped in these a lot. So uh, just one of those things. I hope everyone gets these. If Nike was smart, like this is where I'm coming from. Why not mass produce these to the max and not only make money for Nike, but pay out those royalties to Kobe's family, pay out to Vanessa. Like they could even like make a huge charity and donate to whatever you know like they could make so much money off this shoe so please don't make this limited nike please and based on what i've seen on social media you know like some resellers having like 40 pairs of these i think hopefully they're decent they're, they're, i don't even know how to explain it. hopefully they're just somewhat easy i want everyone to have a pair of these man like it's just one of those things and such a beautiful shoe. I love how loud it is. And obviously it's not necessarily the Grinch. They didn't make it based on Dr. Seuss. Shout out to Dr. Seuss for the one time. Green eggs and ham. My name is Sam. <laughs> but they actually made this based off of Mumba. You know, obviously you have that snakeskin like texture throughout the sneaker. Like these are so fire, bro. Like this is just prime time Nike basketball. Remember when Nike basketball was just killing it with the releases, man? You know, we had the Corks, the LeBron Corks, uh, just, oh, the South Beach. There was just so many fire releases that are going to be coming back out within the next few years, which I'm excited for, especially just to be able to get back out to the court and, you know, your shoes say everything. This is kind of what started it for me. It's just Nike basketball. So... You can see I'm pretty passionate and juiced about this whole thing, but I love these. I'm glad. Unfortunately, I never got like the original pair because they were just too expensive, but you just, you're not going to catch me paying a thousand dollars for a shoe I'm going to hoop in. I don't really, I don't know. I just can't see myself just casually wearing these. It's just more of like a basketball shoe, like use it to its purpose. And yeah. So all I can keep saying is I just really hope that they release a lot of these. Again, that retail being at $180. I'm expecting, since it is like, I guess you would say a retro of the original, uh, I can't imagine that these will go for as much as they did, maybe in the long run, but initially I'm hoping no more than 350. Like 
fingers crossed. Like I'll pay 315, no problem. If anybody gets these in a size 12, hit me ASAP Rocky, please. Now I ain't even gonna lie to you guys. I might even look into how to bot. I used to use a bot back when I was like, in I think I was in high school or maybe freshman year of college. I might run a bot just to get these. I think they're gonna be releasing on like Foot Locker, Champs, Nike, JD Sports, maybe even Dick Sporting Goods might have them. I'm not necessarily sure if Hibbit will have them, but I know bots are gonna eat these up. They're obviously gonna release on sneakers. Sneakers ain't been showing me no love, so I don't expect to win on there, but I'll be trying everywhere because this, this is a Christmas gift to myself, man. Ah, oh. like I wish, I can't wait for the days where I can like, hand these through the screen and you could be like whoa mike you're not tripping these are beautiful like such a cool concept and so loud excuse me i still have a cold i know i sound a little bit weird but man i just first thoughts just beautiful like prime time i'm just gonna keep saying it but nike basketball bro like I love when they release such, I mean, they still do it to an extent. You have your Kyrie's and your KD's, but those don't really impress me. Like, I mean, they do some cool colorways, but I don't really like the way the shoe looks. Like, I'm not a big fan. The Kobe's have always been just executed so well. Same thing with Jordan. And even LeBron's, the newest LeBron's I haven't really been copping. Retail's pretty expensive on them things, but there's a lot of LeBrons that I wish I would have grabbed, but I've been sleeping on them. But just to give you guys a little more insight on these, um, what you get with the box, obviously beautiful shoes. Here is the simple box. You guys can do your thing uh, if you want to read the label or not. Why are we not focusing? Come on, big fella. So yeah, $180, um, simple all black Kobe box. You open that thing up, you got your paper, all black. And they do come with the red laces, which really just give it that twang. A little was ah, was I don't even know what I'm talking about, bro. But sheesh, man, these these look beautiful. Like I wish I was still like hooping, and yeah, even high school, college, bro. Like these is it right here. Um, yeah. Other than that. That's kind of what you get and the production dates on this. Let's see, when did they start making these? Like, I wonder just what the idea behind this was. Did they already have this plan like a couple of years ago or a year ago? So these were produced 07, 15, 20 through 10, 13, 20. So pretty recently. So it might have been just when the, within the last few months. And you know, it's a go. So let me know what you guys think. Are you gonna be going for the Kobe 6 Grinch? Do you like this? Is it too loud for you? Are you a fan? Are you just trying to buy these to resell because you need to make that money? Let me know down below. Good luck to everyone. Hope you guys get these if you want them. But I'll catch you in the next one. It's your boy Sticker Life. Run it.